Nevada Virtual Academy, Mr. N here. Let's go over, you know, some of the mistakes that I noticed in, um, you know, A plus uh, on one of the review tests that you guys uh, are taking. Okay, so I'm going to start it with the simplest one of all. Um, as you can see in this problem here, choose the expression that is equivalent to the one shown, where basically you guys forget to click on the right answer. I mean. If you skip this, if you don't click on all these four options here on one of them, this problem will be marked as wrong and you're not going to get credit for it. Okay? Easy to fix. Make sure you answer the problem. All right, how about this one? Here, you know, the major rule when you have exponents and you have powers of powers, like in this case, if I have a to the power of n times b to the power of m and I'm raising everything, let's say, to the power of p, the rule says to raise each one of this number to that power. So I will have a to the power of n, everything to the power of p, times b to the power of m, everything to the power of p. And now I will have a to the power, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. a to the power of n times p times b to the power of m times p okay going back to my problem here let's see what could be done i have 6 to the power of 5 times 7 to the power of 3 everything to the power of 3 well this will be 6 to the power of 5 everything to the third power times 7 to the third everything to the third and now if you follow the rule here you will see that this is going to be 6 to the power of 5 times 3 right which is let's write it 5 times 3 so you can see what I'm doing times 7 to the power of 3 times 3 and this equals 6 to the power of 15 times 7 to the power of 9 okay what is the answer here 6 to the power of 15 times 7 to the power of 9 this will be the right answer okay so careful because if you spot this and you understand the rule uh, many problem will be uh, will be done right for you. Now, negative exponent. And many of you are having this issue, and this is also an easy fix if you're paying attention to what negative power means. If I will have a number a to the negative n power, this will be, and pay attention here, will be 1 over a to the power of n. When you have negative power, you just have the reciprocal of that number at the same power but positive. Basically, if I have a to the negative 1, this is nothing else but the reciprocal of a, which is 1 over a. If I have a to the negative 2 power, this will be 1 over a squared. And now you understand what is the mistake here, right? The answer here will be 1 over 3 squared which is actually 1 over 9. What is the answer? Well, this option, right? Make sense? And I bet next time you will be fine with this type of problem. Let's check another one. Okay, well, this is the same as in the previous one. I'm not going to show the rule again, but remember, we have to raise every number in the parentheses to that power, which is the third power, this one right there, okay? And this will be multiplied by the second number, which is 7 to the negative 2, everything to the third power. Now, powers of powers, you multiply your exponent, will be 2 to the negative 4 times 3, right? Times 7 to the negative 2 times 3. Now, if you want to put parentheses here, it will be good. If not, just pay attention, don't mix it up, right? 2 to the power of negative 4 times 3 will be 2 to the power of negative 12 times 7, the power of negative 2 times 3, negative 6, okay? Now you check if you have these answers, you're done, but if you don't have these answers, you may want to check, uh, maybe they want you to write this one as positive exponents, which is what? what? 1 over 2 to the 12 times 1 over 7 to the power of 6, and you can rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the 12 times 7 to the 6. However, for this problem, you can leave it with negative exponents, and as you can see, the, the same answer, similar to yours, is this one right there. Okay? 2 to the negative 12 times 7 to the negative 6. 
Got it? Let's check the next one. All right, guys. Now, you already understood how we found 3 to the negative 2. You understand that this one is going to be the reciprocal of the same number, the same power, but positive, which is nothing else but 1 over 8. <laughs> and I know many, you know, this is a major a basic mistake, easy fix. Some of you are still saying that 2 to the power of 3 equals 6. But it's not equal 6 because 2 to the power of 3, we know is 2 times 2 times 2, right? Which is 8. Right? So for this reason, you have 1 over 2 to the power of 3, which is 1 over 8. And that's why the answer for this problem will be 1 over 8. Okay, now here, pay attention. It says how many moles, right? How many moles you have in this one, all you need to do is to divide the um, the amount the number of particles in your compound 3.01 times 10 to the 24 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23 right now first thing you can simplify here you may say well 10 to the 24 divided by 10 to the 23 is going to be just 10 now your problem becomes what 10 times 3.01 which is 30.1 everything over 60 i mean 6.02 right and now we know that 6 goes in 30 how many times? 5 times. And if you check, 5 times 6.02 gives you actually 30.1. And that's why the answer here, be careful, is not 0 0.5, right? Well, you probably, what you did is you divided 3.01 by 6.02, but you forgot, you forgot about that 10, right? Because 1 was 10 to the 24, 1 was 10 to the 23, you're still left with the 10, which will be 0 0.5 times 10, and that gives you 5 moles. Okay? 5 moles eating the vegetables. Alright, let's check another one. Now here, there's a mistake, because uh, I checked and the answer should be a different one. Let's go one step at a time. And always when you have this type of problem, write it down. All you know it by heart. PEMDAS. Okay? Parenthesis. And you always start with the round parenthesis. Think about you're locked inside this room right here. And you're breaking out by breaking every parenthesis. Breaking every wall. Going from room to room. From the inside room to the outside. This is your inside room. 3 plus 2 times 2. Now, order of operation here says multiply first. That will give you 4. You have 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. What is next? Exponents, right? Because inside the brackets, you still have exponents. And you have 7 squared. Well, 7 squared is what? 49. Okay? And now your expression looks like 8 times. Now, I don't have any more brackets. I will have round parentheses here because this round parentheses were gone. And I will have 98 divided by 49 because you're 7 squared you probably forgot about that it was 49 okay parenthesis first order of operation right i'm going to do parenthesis 90 divided by 49 that's 2 8 times 2 is going to be 16 and that's why the answer here has to be 16 okay and i hope it makes sense um it looks like you you know you guys are mostly good at this order of operation problem step by step and you will be fine I have no doubt that you will do better next time okay well let's see what's happening in here as you can see you know the answer should be something with square root 13 and you know cannot be simplified may work but most of the time they're expecting you to simplify now square root 13 there's nothing I can do about it but square root 52 I can write it as square root 4 times 13. Now, this is equivalent to square root 4 times square root 13, right? You guys remember the rule. If you have square root of AB, this is the same as square root A times square root B, okay? But hold on. Square root 4, I know that. That's 2. It will be 2 square root 13, okay? So now, this problem here will be square root 13 plus 2 square root 13. Let's work on the other one. Square root of 1300. Well, square root of 1300 is the same as square root of 13 times 100. But oh my god, 100 
is a square, is a perfect square, right? Basically now, I have square root of 13 times square root of 100, which is square root of 13 times, well, square root of 100 is 10, which I can write as 10 times square root of 13. And I bet you can see now, you know, what is the right answer, because I have square root of 13 plus 2 square root of 13, which is 3 square root of 13, plus 10 square root of 13, and that will give me 13 square root of 13. That's an interesting number, right? But the answer should be the first one right there. Make sense? I'm going a little bit uh, fast, but you guys can always pause and see what I done, what I've done, or rewind and and listen again to my explanation. Okay. Good. Let's see another problem. Square root of 24 over 36. Now, many of you are able, and you are able to say, well, this is two square root 6 over 6. How do you get there? Let's explain it to everybody. Well, you know, I got square root of 24 over square root of 36, right? Because, you know, square root of A over B could be written as square root A over square root B, all right? But square root of 36, we know it's 6. Square root of 24, I can write it as square root 4 times 6. And this is how you get to you know, square root 4, which is 2, times square root 6 over 6. But hold on. You need to write the simplified version. And 2 and 6 are both divisible by 2. If you divide both by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And that's why the final answer, the most simplified answer here, will be square root 6 over 3. Easy fix for you. Uh, you did fine all the work, all the complicated work here. This is just a matter of dividing by two. I have no uh, no um, doubt that you will be fine next time. Okay, and this is it. this was you know the major um, correction um, for for this test for all of you guys. Just pay attention to all the details I've mentioned, and you will be fine. Okay, keep working. You can do it. Don't give up. Contact me and I will help you. Thank you very much.